Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Time Garage. I'm Wes. Yesterday was kind of a rain day, so didn't do any rust repairs. But what we did do was um, working on this little thing here. I hadn't cleaned up this area very much, so I cleaned this up yesterday. You know, just solvent in a brush, toothbrush home brush you know so um, clean that up and then I thought for the next test fit I need to see if the transmission lines are gonna gonna work out so I spent hours cleaning the transmission lines and bending them so that they're relaxed the way they're routed and uh, yeah so I just thought uh, since I want to make the motor spin and bark the transmission's going to spin so it's going to need fluid and lines connected to a cooler and it's time to start test fitting everything really so uh, yeah wasn't a complete write-off, right? Spent a couple hours cleaning and then seemed like forever bending those lines to get them to fit just, just nicely. I don't want them too close to the headers. You don't want them rubbing anywhere, right? So I think I got her pretty good. Really? There, that's better. I don't like interfering with the camera. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. I mean, for some reason, I didn't want to root the line under the transmission pan. I don't know. Just kind of made sense at the time. And these are lines from a 360. So I've got them bent around the front of the motor the way they were and I'm using the 360 rad also actually from the van so everything's got to go in and be tested on the next test fit it's not just the the motor mounts and the headers I want to make sure the transmission lines fit and fix this rad support I cut it out because the rad didn't fit so I mounted the, the rad a couple inches lower because it's a van rad and it's a nice big rad so I think it's going to be okay for drag racing. So yesterday a little bit of rain there the ground's still a little wet so I didn't get at this rust that I was looking at but uh, it's dripping oh something's dripping off the camper. So, we're going to attack some rust today. Still a little frost on the, on the deck lid here. Deck lid needs a little body work. It didn't, but now it does. We had a mishap. What I am happy about is the fact that this was in the rain. And... Under here is all dry, except for right there. So, where did that come from? Yeah, this is not, this is not finished. See, it's very ugly. So we're going to be grinding this to make it look pretty and adding some more. Either we're going to just cut it out and make a patch. <laughs> Because that's about where I am now. After blowing through so much of it, I feel like I just cut it out and make a little four or five inch patch. I don't know. Is it like I don't have rust to fix? So we're going to get on it. Because right where I'm pointing the camera, that's where the battery tray needs to go. Kind of, you know, in that sort of general area on a steel plate because that's what they did in 68 anyway <coughs> I 
There's your update. Nothing under here, suspension wise, is going to stay the way it looks right now. Not the springs, not the shackles, not the rear end. So this poor boy needs to get to work and make some money to buy some parts. Anyways, that's it for today's little morning at, uh, update, I guess you could call it. Anyways, have a great day, everybody. I'm going to enjoy this beautiful weather today. And we're going to attack some rust. Too bad I got to turn the generator on. Won't be able to hear them birds anymore.